How to turn a ship Ever wondered how a big ship changes its direction? Well, today, we're talking about the secret behind it. In the next few minutes, we're going to make this simple. Imagine it as the steering wheel of your car. But for a ship by the end, you'll know how it's done. Now, how does it work? When you turn the ship's wheel, it tells the rudder which way to go. The rudder moves and guides the ship where you want it to go. There are two ways to turn. The first one is port which means left. And the other one is starboard which means right. Just like turning left or right in your car. It might surprise you to learn that the ship's rudder doesn't physically turn the ship. So how does it actually work? Imagine the rudder as a big wing-like thing at the back of the ship, called the stern. It's the ship's steering tool. But it doesn't steer in the way you might think. So, what really happens, well, when the rudder moves to starboard? It creates a special force, we'll call it the rudder force. This force pushes the ship sideways to the left port side. This sideways pushes just a tiny sway to the left. And it's barely noticeable. But it's this small sway that starts the turning action of the ship. However, the rudder force does something else important. It creates a twisting effect called a moment around the ship's center of gravity. This moment gives the ship a new angle, kind of like a slight drift. The ship isn't moving straight anymore, it's drifting just a bit. Now, here's where the real turning magic happens. It's not the straight movement, but the sideways part. That's crucial. This sideways movement changes how the water flows around the ship. With the ship drifting to the left, the ship's hull pushes against the water particles on its left side. Those water particles push back, creating a kind of force called inertia. This inertia force acts to oppose the ship's sway to the left. It's like a gentle tug of war. With the water pushing back against the ship, the key thing to know is that this inertia force is pretty strong. Similar to the ship's size. And that's what really turns the ship. So, here's the big reveal. The rudder doesn't directly turn the ship. It starts a drift angle, creating a force called the hydrodynamic moment. And that's what truly turns the ship. This hydrodynamic moment works in the same direction as the rudder's action. And the rudder angle keeps this moment going. When the rudder goes back to its straight position, the rudder force vanishes, and the ship's drift angle goes back to zero. That's when the turning stops. And why is the rudder always behind the ship's propeller? Well, the propeller makes the water move faster, which helps the rudder do its job even better. So, there you have it. Now you know the secret of how a ship turns, thanks to the rudder and a little bit of science. If you enjoyed this, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more maritime knowledge. Thanks for joining us at Marine Arky. Smooth sailing, everyone, see you in the next video.